Hey guys, Jim here, otherwise known as Moonshine on the Trail. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. Uh, we're uh, three weeks and two days into the thru hike. I'm here in Hot Springs, North Carolina, taking a zero day, and uh, I just took stock of all my gear. I'm sending some stuff home, I've replaced some stuff along the way. And uh, so I just want to go over all this um, quickly, anything that's changed, and then uh, I'm going to pack up my pack and take it down to the uh, Bull Mountain Outfitters and have them weigh it so that I have an updated base weight. It's definitely over 10 pounds, no longer ultralight, and that really doesn't matter. Um, so, okay, just real quickly, um, I'm sending home my fleece, and I've replaced it with a Melanzana. I'm sorry, I'm sending home my hoodie, and I'm replacing it with a Melanzana fleece. Uh, it is better active layer when wet than the, than the down, and it uh, provides about the same warmth. Uh, I lost my Ultra Gators. I left them in a cabin, so I've replaced them with some Dirty Girl Gators. Um, I'm sending home one pair of my Smart Wolf full-length hiking socks and, uh, and Gingy liners, and replacing them with uh, ankle-length socks, uh, uh, liners, and uh, quarter length uh, fits socks. Um, I uh, sent home, uh, or I'm no longer using the Smart Water bottles. I'm sure I'll pick one up again along the way, but currently just using a 24 ounce Gatorade bottle, 32 ounce soft uh, Sawyer Squeeze uh, bladder with the Sawyer Squeeze itself. Um, I did pick up an additional power bank, 6,000 milliamp. That's what they had available at the Verizon store when I switched to Verizon service. So I wasn't too picky about the weight there. Um, everything else here stayed the same except for I lost my MP3 player. Um, it was tiny, but I was able to drop a cord because of that. Um, I lost my Z-seat, picked up another one. Uh, I had a Toke 650 milliliter titanium pot at the beginning of my hike. I traded that out for a uh, MSR uh, Titan titanium kettle. Uh, I love this thing. It's 4.2 ounces instead of 3.6, I think, for my Toke. So I added a little bit of weight. But in my mind, it was worth it, um, just with the spout, and uh, this thing boils water really quickly. I actually traded out my canister stove for a Tokes titanium alcohol stove. Um, it's this little tiny thing, and I put it inside of this grate. Uh, it sits inside of this grate. When it's standing up, this sits in there like that, and then my pot sits on top. And then I have a windscreen uh, made out of aluminum foil. And this thing boils water in like four to five minutes. Uh, I haven't had any problems at altitude. Um, and uh, I've been able to even, if I put like an ounce of fuel in there, I can, I can do like a few cups of water, not just two. So that thing has worked out better than expected. I got a stick pick. Um, the camera that uh, my buddy's filming on right now is a Sony RX100 Mark IV. It comes in at eight ounces as well. That would normally be sitting right over here, but it's not at the moment. Um, so that's another thing. Uh, that I've added. Um, I have a ton of melatonin pills here, too many, um, but I love them and uh, I've been taking these at night uh, to help me sleep. Um, I picked up some anti-monkey butt, um, replaced that with the little powder thing that I'd spent forever making, doesn't matter. Um, also I had spent forever figuring out a way to, to minimize the amount of Dr. Bronner's, but I don't care, I'm just carrying two ounces. I picked up this therapeutic uh, ball to help roll out any tension in my muscles. Um, I love KT tape, so I've got a roll of KT tape here. I'm um, probably going to be using a little less going forward, but this stuff's been a lifesaver for the first three weeks and really helped me work through my ligament problems, um, strains and stresses and muscles and things like that. Uh, i got a small thing of insect repellent here. Uh, I've got some good uh, sunblock inside of a crappy sunblock tube. Uh, i got a little tiny thing of Tiger Balm here, and I've got some uh, lip, gl uh, lip gloss, uh, whatever, chapstick stuff here. I've got an extra lighter. Um, I picked up some sun cloud, uh, uh, polarized sunglasses. Didn't think I need sunglasses. Turns out I do. Uh, I did pick up the AT guide, AWOL's 2017 northbound uh, AT guide. I originally wasn't going to take a guide at all, but I found that this is actually way more useful in town than the uh, gut hook app that I'm using on my phone. Gut hooks app is amazing. It does uh, close a lot on my phone. It, it shuts itself down by accident. But this is good for in town and prepping for in town stuff. Um, I, my buddy uh, Scooby gave me, he got three of these notebooks. He gave me one. So I've got a little notebook to take notes. Still carrying my little pen. 
I've added a little bit of a uh, cord here in case I have to hang my bag. I haven't had to yet, um, but it's here and it's light and staying for now. Um, what else is new? Uh, moving over to the clothes real quick. I did add a, a beanie um, into the equation. It's a Patagonia beanie, not ultralight. Um, I've replaced my gloves twice now. Uh, these are just the latest ones that I was able to pick up. They're just liners. They're wool liners. They work out fine. Um, I've got a pair of Patagonia uh, long underwear here. They're heavier than the Kaplan ones I started out with, um, but uh, that's not a bad thing. If it's cold out, this is my long pants. It's my only long pants. Um, and uh, let's see. I have an 8-ounce uh, poncho tarp. Uh, I got caught in the rain the other day without any sort of adequate rain gear. Uh, I actually was wearing this uh, Mountain Research uh, Ghost Whisperer uh, uh, windbreaker, um, but it is not waterproof and I got soaked underneath. So I've added in this poncho tarp. I may try to use this tarp uh, with my hammock um, to have a complete system in the summer. So we'll see how that works out. Um, and I am wearing a uh, new shirt and some new shorts. So I've got two pairs of shorts now. I've got this short sleeve uh, cutoff shirt and then I've added this ultra short sleeve shirt as well. Um, so uh, between the fleece and anything here, I can hopefully keep warm with the fleece um, and the uh, windbreaker, which provides a uh, really good heat reflection back to me. Um, I've got two pairs of boxers instead of one since it's getting warmer out and I sent home that one pair of Capoline. Um, and I've added a 1.76 ounce bowl here, a uh, snow peak bowl, so that I can actually make like hot chocolate and um, carnations and breakfast and things like that without getting this uh, dirty and having to clean it. I like just boiling water and that's strictly. Um, I've got this little uh, fuel canister here. Right now I'm carrying five ounces of fuel. I carried eight ounces of fuel from um, Neil's Gap to Standing Bear and I still had two ounces left. So the fuel is really efficient. I'm using about a half ounce per boil um, on one and a half to two cups of water. And uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's it for my new gear. Uh, one modification I did today to my Z-Pax uh, um, Arc Blast is I added, you can't really see it, but I've added in some clear uh, repair tape here uh, just to give some extra reinforcement so that I preempt any problems that I may run into with sitting this thing down on a rough surface. But I, as I said, I've lost my Z-Seed. I've also replaced it so I can use that if it's wet um, and I don't want to get it wet. But that's generally it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this down to the outfitter and weigh it. And uh, I'll uh, come back and update this video and let you know what my total base weight is. I'm guessing it's around 13 and a half to 14 and a half pounds. Um, but we'll have to see. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out.